many of you who have watched our prior videos have commented that I have been keeping our quails in these breeding pens and gee golly, they don't have a lot of room. So we're building a quail hutch that we're gonna move our quails to. And so I'm gonna show you how I built it or how I'm building it. And I use these tools. I use the saw to cut the wood with. I use the nail gun to uh, nail it together. A staple gun to staple on the screen. A little sandpaper, pencil. Over here, there are two by uh, two by two wood, and there's three by two wood, and. This is the screen, half inch, half inch hardware screen that I used. And I've already started making this, so I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so this is the quail hutch we're making. We're not quite done with it yet. And the way um, I put this together, it's about three feet this way, about six feet that way. I think it's about 18 inches here. So what we did, first of all, is I made these end panels and I put two by threes on the top, two by twos on the bottom. After I made the square piece, I stapled the screen on the inside. So you use your staple gun. You gotta cut the screen to fit and then you just staple it on. And the long pieces are two by threes on top. One by two is on the side, same thing, staple the screen on. After it was all ready to go, I took these two, two by three legs and I used my nail gun and I attached uh, this one this way and attached this one this way. So then we had this square box. I made a flat part here. I'm gonna put the uh, feeders and waterers here because you can't really put a water on a slope. So I made a flat part. Then I had to make this bottom part. This is, um, they'll walk around on here and when they lay eggs, the eggs will roll out the bottom and so you don't have to even open it. So now all I need to do is build a top and I'm gonna make it with an opening on this side and the other side so that I can get in and add the food and water and uh, do whatever I need to do, and I will show you how it looks when it's when it's done. Now this quail hutch, just so you know, I'm lucky enough that I've got a barn with horse stalls that I can keep it inside, so I don't have to paint it. But if you're gonna make a, a quail hutch and you're gonna have to keep it outside, uh, you're probably gonna have to paint it, and you're probably gonna have to put some weather protection around it so that the quails don't get all rained on and wind is out and everything. But since I'm inside, I don't have to do that. It's gonna be easier for me. Okay, so today we just finished this uh, quail hutch that we're gonna move uh, the quail into. And I think uh, from the prior videos, you can see it has a sloped bottom where the eggs can come out. Uh, the whole top has uh, doors that you can get in to access uh, the quail with. And so the next thing all we have to do is move the quails and then we'll show you what it looks like when we're all done.